Hey y'all, I, Rick Sky here, and I've had a lot of comments about how did I get this little doohickey over here. You see the, uh, or maybe it's over there. I don't know, it's there or there. The little iPhone display down there, you can see the in-flight uh, first-person view with the altitude, the speed, and all that goodness, and the radar will pop up on occasion too. How did I embed what I see on the iPhone within a YouTube video? Well, you can check this link. Uh, you can check the link within this video's description for specifics and a direct link to where you can order the, uh, the tools that I used. But at a high level, there, were two com there was a computer involved. I used my MacBook Air. Uh, there was also, of course, the iPhone 5 that I was using for FPV. And then the Vision 2 Plus, the DJI Phantom 2 Vision 2 Plus, comes with the Wi-Fi extender. So what I did, I connected the iPhone to the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus Wi-Fi extender so I paired it up after I paired it up I then connected my MacBook Air to the DJI Phantom Wi-Fi extender and all this was before I started flying and then I launched the software on my MacBook Air that emulates the iPhone so you see in real time like I was seeing on my iPhone 5 I saw the emulated iPhone 5 on my MacBook Air and I was able to, while that was going, obviously I was flying looking at my iPhone in the hand because it was more convenient. But what I had going concurrently was a screen recording application that would record the screen of the MacBook Air. And then what I did after I recorded the entire flight, of course I do all my editing in Final Cut Pro 10 on an iMac computer, but I had two layers. I had the background layer, which was just the video from the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus camera. And then I had the foreground layer, which was the, uh, the video screen recording of the MacBook Air that was recording the emulated iPhone 5. And then I cropped that out in Final Cut Pro 10 so that it looks like when you're watching this video behind me that's been playing the whole time, you have that, uh, that virtual iPhone there on the screen. So that's how I accomplished this. But like I said, check the, uh, and I did have to buy some software to do that for Mac, so check the link in the video's description. And I've got links to all of the, uh, all of the stuff that I use to do this. So I hope that helps. If you have any specific questions, let me know. Uh, something I do want to address, and, and I don't know if it, if it may be problematic for others, but I did have those two, uh, you know, the iPhone and the MacBook Air connected concurrently to the, uh, to the Wi-Fi extender on the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus. Could that potentially cause in-flight issues? You know, I'm not sure. I didn't have any, but I'm not saying that it wouldn't. But with that being said, be sure to share this video. Enjoy all my DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus videos. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's youtube.com forward slash Guy. Y'all have a good day.